Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're taking a look at the UNSC D77-TC Pelican, one of the most iconic vehicles in the Halo universe, and easily one of the most recognisable as well. The Pelican we see in all the Halo games, while well, we see different variations in the later Halo games, but it's easily one of the most recognisable vehicles in kind of a sci-fi universe in a way, to be honest. You see the Pelican, you know it's from Halo. It's awesome. Anyway, this amazing creation is by Vanu Baggio. He's known for creating a load of awesome creations on the Steam Workshop in Space Engineers. I think we've reviewed a few of his before. I know he did the UNSC Falcon. I can't remember if we reviewed that one, but it's in my blueprints and is sitting over here at the minute, so I remember looking at it at some point at least. Anyway, this is a one-to-one -one scale. That's good. It's semi-accurate, meaning he's tried to do it as accurate as possible, but probably give a few details here and there. Still good. I mean, the shape of it so far does look amazing. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into taking a look around the ship. So starting off that side, we can see he's captured the perfect shape of the D-77 absolutely perfectly. We've got the wings over here, and these wings actually rotate and fold as well. That is the amazing fact that they actually rotate. Awesome! Is that a jump drive in there? No, it's a battery. For a minute, I thought that was a jump drive. It's just, the two icons on the top there look like a jump drive. Anyway, we're just going to turn down my sound a minute, because there's currently sound bugs in Space Engineers where we can't actually hear a sound of anything, which really does suck. And Frost is currently just glitching out. Anyway, this build only uses one mod, which is the Hammerman Small Ship Glass. So we've got these windows at the front for small ships. Always a good plan to have these. If only these were actually in the game, or we could make glass for small ships in space areas. That would be a really cool feature I'd love, because it just make more small ship creations possible. So the class of the Pelican is a troop carrier and drop ship. As we can see from around the back here, we have the ability to carry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 troopers, counting 2 pilots as well. Makes 12 people carryable, and we obviously got people to be able to stand. One of the most things that caught me about this Pelican was the fact it's actually got the proper landing gears. The D-77 always had these things that extend at the back here. They look really cool and they're kind of just like extra landing gear proof to be honest. Kind of like for landing and extra terrain and also to keep the backup as well. Now it is possible to detach um, or attach Warfolks and Scorpions using the landing gear things that kept up top here. So you can attach things and carry them around. Seen from Halo 1 is where you assault the beachhead for a cartographer. You carry the Warfolks. Most iconic scene ever. And obviously you can see more of this vehicle in Halo Wars 2. That's why one of the reasons why I'm covering this build today is Halo Wars 2 is releasing on Friday. I'll be covering on Friday. Don't forget to check us out for that one. But we receive, uh, we see the return of the D77 in Halo Wars 2, almost like the classic art style of Halo. So that's going to be really good. Anyway, taking a look at closer details, we have the bridge up here or the cockpit. We'll take a look inside that in a minute. But as you can see, it sticks out perfectly there. The front, we have our main gun. The Pelican always had one main gun. It also has missiles as well. We've got them on the sides with warning lights, green and um, what's it, red over here. So that was our navigation lights in a way. All built of hydrogen in the ship here, so we can go into space and in planets or atmosphere like we're currently doing. Good to have them. Have these sort of conveyor sorters over here, just to add a bit of extra detail. More thrusters there. These sort of things are like vents, though they don't actually act as anything, it's just a cool block design. Going underneath, we have more thrusters to keep us upright, as well as the tyres to use as landing gears. A connector as well, so we can always connect it with the ship to resupply. Now, what just ma amazed me about this build is how functional it is for space engineers. I don't know if it's survival ready. I don't think it says on here, is it survival ready? No, it doesn't say if it's survival ready, it's squad on the page. Um, no, I don't think it's survival ready, but it's not a big deal. I mean, we've got a working pelican, what more could you want? In a minute, I'll show you how the wings rotate. They can rotate for landing position and normal position. Really cool. So, moving around the back here, we kind of cover the attachments of that, and it's all kind of the same. It's very, when I say basic, I mean, it's not a lot of massive detail things to catch my eye, but it's so simple and nice at the same time, but sticks out and looks so great. That's what I love in Creations, how it's so simple, but yet so good. We're going to take a look inside, so we're going to get our character around here, and he's going to take a look inside. So we've got a ramp up here. I think we can cl if we close the ramp around there, can we close that? I don't think we can. I want to close the ramp and walk in. No, it doesn't work. But anyway, you can walk up the ramp here. There's a button on this side. You can see it there. It basically lowers the ramp. You can walk in. Da da. We're presenting the troop car. At the minute, I've turned on the emergency lights. Usually, these lights would be white, but I've turned the emergency ones for red, which is uh, is red standby. I think it is. Yeah, red standby. Then we've got um, chairs here for everyone, so you can sit down. Like who are you? Just remember, like the scene of Chief leaning at the back of a sniper from Halo Three. Obviously, you've got cargo pods up ahead, so you can store your weapons and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Conveyor tube running overhead, this funnels all the fuel and stuff to the back part of the ship. Not bad, the little design details in here, just creating a little slope bit just for like alcoves and stuff. Really nice. Medic packs in here, but obviously only just LCD screens, so not a big deal. Got a control thing here as well. 
And here's like a little midsection where I guess you could store like cargo and stuff like that. Or anything else. We've got timer blocks here. And blast or blocks maybe create the idea of shelves. Not a bad plan. Now we've got a cockpit up here. We've got some, I think this is a landing gear. No, it's a wheel suspension. So just create a little like technical idea. There's a wheel suspension there. Time block, emergency lights. We turn the emergency lights on and off. So now we're on standby lights. Another medical pack over here. And more lights and a wheel suspension. Sound blocks as well. I've not seen the sound blocks actually do anything yet, but I think they're just there for aesthetic detail. And we've got the cockpit up here. We've got mini corner LCDs on the top of the windows there. We've got LCDs down below there for guidance and stuff like that. Control panels. Uh, we've also got a laser turret. Is that a laser thing? No, that's a gyroscope. I, I can't remember what things look like in this game. Anyway, let's take this thing for a fly because I'm dying to. So when you sit in the cockpit, your percentage like this. We can see that there. Now to control it, you press K. Go to control, pilot. And where is it? It's down here. Control. And now we're in control of everything. So, one bad thing I find about this is I can't, whenever I press V, it doesn't like to work. I can't look outside my ship, which sucks. Whether it's just a bug in SE or that's how those work, I don't know. But anyway, let's um, get our ramp up, shall we? I think 9 is the ramp. Yep. So let's bring the ramp up. So number 9 in our bar is the active rotor for the ramp. There we go, seal it up. Number 8 is the landing gears. Not bad, we've got our landing gears being raised. And what else we got? So number 1 is Gatlins, number 2 is missiles, number 3... What is number 3? Oh, that's the emergency lights. 4 is our lights on and off. So if we go F6... And it's number 4, isn't it? No, 4 is our LCD screen, sorry, not lights on and off. And we've also got our hydrogen thrusters. We can turn them all off if we want to. So for complete shutdown. So I know there's a current bug of SC where thrusters don't want to turn off for some reason. Whenever you power down, like if I do it now, they won't turn off. It really sucks. Number 6 is our crew compartment camera. There we go. And number 7 rotates our wings, I believe. So, oh, I've exited that thing. Whenever I exited our cameras recently, um, it just bugs out and kicks you out of control things. Whether it is a bug itself, I do not know. Number seven rotates our wings, we've just got a little delay before they rotate. There we go, they rotate. Now I believe the wings like this is its landing procedure, so it should sit like this when it's landed. I that makes more sense. And then we can rotate them back as well by hitting seven again. And we see the wings rotate back eventually, there we go. Excellent. And number eight and nine we just saw there, it's nothing on two, so I suggest we do take off. There we go, it takes off perfectly. Firing missiles, Gatlins, epic. So this is the D-77 Pelican, one of the UNC's most iconic craft, and it's here in Space Union's first play with thanks to Vanu Baggio. Check out some of his other creations on the workshop. We're going to give this a fly a minute, because I know you guys are dying for me to fly it. So like I said, the only bad thing is, whenever I press V, I can't look outside of a ship, whether it is a bug with a creation itself, but I think it's more or less Space Union's. But anyway, let's give this a fly around. We're at number one, we've got Gatlins. Is that a base over there? Shoot, uh, no, we'll, we'll leave it there. So I don't think it's more of an attack craft, so we can't actually go blowing stuff up. But yeah, this ship works perfectly, and it's so cool. It's flying around, so nice. And the view from the cockpit is not bad as well. We've got quite a good view. We've got all our stats here, so we've got bearing as 98 east. Uh, we've got natural, I can't read the other thing over there. Acceleration, that thing doesn't tend to work sometimes, that's just the script trying to catch up. But it won't record our acceleration all the time, and our stop distance is 1.7 kilometers. Anyway guys, this has been the D77TC Pelican, amazing creation by Vanu Baggio. Don't forget to check it out on the Steam Workshop, the link is below in the description. We're currently floating down due to a bug in SCM, I and mean, I think that's when you have rotors on a small ship, it floats down. Sucks, I know. But anyway, this is an amazing creation. Don't forget to check it out on the Workshop below. As usual, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching this video. Halo Wars 2 is out this Friday. Don't forget to tune into the channel. I will be covering the entire campaign on the channel. Vote in the poll up on the screen now if you're excited for Halo Wars 2 and want me to cover it. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.